What's up guys, Isaac here. I'm going to be giving you five tips to help you get up at 5 a.m. without much hassle, without much struggle, and to be able to make it a habit. So let's dive right into it. Okay, tip number five. The first thing I always tell people when they try wake up early in the morning is to have a mindset shift. Instead of trying to think of it as I have to wake up earlier, change it to I have to go to sleep earlier because going to sleep earlier kind of entails that you're gonna wake up earlier, right? assuming you sleep for the same duration. So an easy way to go about this is to ease into it, right? So every night, try go to sleep 20 minutes earlier than what you usually do and set your alarm for 20 minutes earlier as well. So if you usually go to sleep at 11 p.m. and you wanna wake up at 5 a.m., go to sleep at 11, at 10.50 or 10.40 the next day, right? And then the day after that, go to sleep at 10.20 the next day, 10 o'clock, and kind of gradually ease into it. Because what this is going to do is going to make a smooth transition for you. You're not going to have to worry about it. It's going to be really easy to wake up at that new time. There's not much of a difference. So that's the first tip I give people. Focus on going to sleep earlier, which is a much easier battle for your mind to kind of digest. And yeah, and don't dive right into the deep end. Sure, you could just wake up at 5 a.m. But the problem with that is it's going to create a lot of resistance for you to continue doing it because you're not going to feel that great the first time you do it. You're going to be groggy. You're going to not be very alert. You're going to feel underslept. So you want to try to resist that. You want to make this an easy thing for your mind to digest, an easy for, thing for you to make a habit. So do the gradual process of going to sleep earlier. Okay, tip number four. Have an evening routine. A lot of people have morning routines, things that they do when they wake up to get the day started. I suggest having an evening bedtime routine, things that you do to help facilitate you um, in going to sleep earlier. So for me personally, I do a couple of things. I do cold showers, which are very refreshing once you get out of them and you want to just hop in the sheets and go to sleep like a baby. I like to read. I like to read for 30 minutes to 40 minutes before I go to sleep, which kind of slows down my mind a bit and helps me go to sleep once again. I like to listen to binaural beats or white, play white noise. Some people like having the fan on at nighttime as well. That helps them sleep. So you could definitely do that. And of course, meditation is really good for slowing down those crazy thoughts and going to sleep easier. So find what works for you and do that. And it's going to get your brain kind of going in that pattern. And it's going to make it easier for you to sleep once you get that as a routine. Tip number three. Remove all things that make it difficult for you to sleep, right? So get rid of all the things that make it difficult for you to sleep. So I advise that you don't eat big meals right before you go to sleep. So I try not to eat anything an hour before I go to sleep. I don't like taking caffeine after around 12 o'clock during the day because the effects can still linger on and it makes it hard for you to sleep. I used to take a lot of these pre-workout supplements and they were disastrous for me going to bed. So keep away from caffeine and having big meals because those things are gonna make it really difficult for you to fall asleep, right? Okay, tip number two, remove all electrical devices about 40 minutes before you go to sleep and black out your room. So a lot of us, we like to play on our phones, play on our iPads and phones and whatever right before we go to sleep, but this kind of gets our mind still in this alert state that's not gonna help us go to sleep. So the best thing you could do is get rid of all your iPads, your phones, your and also those, you know those little annoying lights you see on your TV, those LED lights, the things you see on your Xbox 360 when they are still on standby? Black out all that stuff. Put blue tack on it, put sticky tape over it so that you don't have to see those lights as you go to sleep. Because believe it or not, those lights can actually make it so much harder for you to go to sleep. When your room is completely black, it really is so much easier to fall asleep like a baby. And once again, helps you wake up at 5 a.m. Okay, the last tip I give people in order to wake up at 5 a.m. or wake up early, whatever time you want, is set your alarm, set three alarms, right? For that time and maybe five minutes beforehand. And make sure that your phone is across from the room. So don't have your phone in arm's reach. Half the battle of getting up is actually just getting up. If the phone's near us, we're gonna hit snooze always. Especially because we can't think straight in the morning. All we want to do is get back to sleep. But if the phone is across the room from us, it's going to be so annoying that you're not going to sleep through it and you're going to have to get up, walk across the room. And since you're already up, you might as well continue. That's half the battle done. And it's going to be really hard for you to get back in bed after that if you really have waking up at 5 a.m. as a goal. So set your alarm out of arm's reach. 
and set multiple alarms in case you're one of these people that likes to sleep through alarms. So those are my five tips for getting up at 5 a.m. Do each one of these things and you're definitely going to be able to wake up at whatever time you want without much hurdles, much resistance. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.